That's when we found a mess. We'll have to fix this tomorrow. Help me, Natasha. Fix the closet. Welcome to Hershey. The, the sweetest, sweetest place, place on earth. earth. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Here we go. Good morning from Michigan. It is a chilly 60 degrees and because the temperature dropped, so has the pressure in our tires. So we are filling them up before we hit the road. Safety first. Thanks Harris family, Bill, Holly, you guys rock. Free dip. Wheel chocks might have been stuck, but we got them out. Woo! Da, da, da. It's early. Yes. And because it's early, instead of making breakfast and having to wash dishes and everything at home, we're going to stop at McDonald's. McDonald's. Good Let's go get some food. Well, we have made it to Hershey, Pennsylvania. We made it. We went crazy. We're about 30 minutes from the next thousand trails. Hershey, we're, uh, we're, we're Wally ducking. Yes, uh, the beautiful Walmart accommodations. There they are. There's our car. Yes, there are signs that say no truck parking, but the manager said that so long as you're parked against this wall back here, which we are, that security um, is okay with that. You're out of the way and you won't bother anybody. So. If you're not familiar with Wally docking, that is proper etiquette. Go inside, speak to the manager, make sure it's okay. Yeah, and really all we're gonna do is sleep for the night and then we're gonna hit the road in the morning. We did even patron Walmart. We stopped and we got some stuff for the morning. So there's security right now. Oh, there they are. See patrolling. Talk to us. Keeping us safe. Nope. There See, they go. They don't care. <laughs> all right, so it's been a long day. We need to get some food in our bellies and get to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. What are you doing? Well, the uh, closet won't open. All I want to do is reach in here, grab my battery pack that powers the CPAP so I can go to sleep. Nope, it won't open. So we tried this set. That's when we found a mess. Oh, I think I was able to push everything out of the way so we can at least open the other door. But we'll have to fix this tomorrow. Cool. Good tomorrow. Good morning. We had a pretty uneventful night slept pretty well how'd you sleep slept okay traffic at this walmart died down so it wasn't too terribly noisy of course it's picking up again this morning but as isabella was coming inside the house from walking the dog she noticed the wall which is weird because when she and i stopped at the gas station the other day i came inside to grab some charging cords and i heard a big pop and i said bella what was that I don't know. <laughs> Turns out the wall popped out and it's being held by nothing. It just slides in behind that trim piece. Luckily, uh, we partnered together. We were, we were able to put it back together. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Crisis averted. Woo! Time to get changed and Head on to the Thousand Trails, Hershey Park. We are all set and ready to hit the road. I'm gonna finish up the drive with the RV and I've got me, Will, with me today. This will be a nice short little drive, like 30 minutes. So let's get her done. I hate roundabouts. They always freak me out, especially if they have high curbs. I don't wanna hit the tires. Well, we arrived. 
Right, then turn left. It's 11.30. Head northwest. But they said that they have a really, really strict policy that you cannot check in before noon. In 500 feet, slight left. And everyone is leaving. And I guess all of the sites are first come, first serve anyway. So she said we have to leave and can't come back until noon. So now we're gonna try and make our way around the park so we can turn around and leave to come back in again. Oh well. We were the early arrivals that had to loop around. Oh well, okay. Well, at least it wasn't a wasted stop. Uh, Speedway over here actually has diesel fuel and RV pumps and it was like the cheapest price for diesel fuel we've seen since we headed into Pennsylvania. $3.59. It's higher than what we've been paying but definitely less than the 401 we recently saw. Making lemonade out of lemons. We're back. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. Thanks for your patience. Help me, Natasha. Fix the closet. You know you want to hang up your clothes. So thanks to my husband, Bill, and the kids. Uh, they went to Home Depot and got us a new metal rod hanger for our closet. So I'm going to install this today. Now, instead of having just like this single hole in the middle, like the previous one does, it actually has three. So I think what happened with the old one before was because it only had that single screw, the U part of the curtain of the closet rod holder actually rotated and then it bent and that's how that part broke. So having three holes will secure it so it won't move and wiggle around and it's metal so it shouldn't move or break so that's my project today just got off of work we're gonna get this installed so we can put our closet back together well there you go easy fix crisis averted the closet is back in working order and all of our things fit back where they belong. Woo! Good morning. You know, Bill works hard all week long. He makes dinner every single night, takes care of the kids in their school, works on our YouTube channel and our social media stuff. So when Saturday rolls around, I do get to sleep in, but then it's my turn. So I am making breakfast for the family. True to Steven's time, we're running a bit late. We wanted to leave at 11. It's now 11.10. That guy back there is a little annoyed. It may have been mine and Bella's fault. Uh, but we're on our way, heading to Hershey. We're gonna make it, it'll be fun. Don't laugh at my corny jokes. I might just be your running instructor all the way back to Chocolate World today. Well, we just finished our trolley tour uh, with Hershey Park. Pretty neat. Lots of puns, tons of information about the history. So that part was interesting to me. Mm -hmm. He went bankrupt tons of times. Three to be exact, yeah. But he never gave up. Mm -mm. And I think what I liked most was that uh, Mr. Hershey was a big philanthropist. So as soon as he made like his first big check, he paid off all of his debtors and he invested his profits in the town and in the people who helped make him what he was. Including what we're on right now is the campus of the Milton Hershey School. So it's K through 12 and there's like homes everywhere that's for the kids that go into the school so they had to leave their actual family but it's free tuition you have to have at least 
80 IQ and you're good to go. And it specializes for children who come from low income families. I think they said they had 4,000 applicants and they only accept 300 students every year, but not a single penny of tuition uh, do those kids pay. They get free room and board. Um, it's pretty amazing. So, Chocolate World. A little touristy. I think the trolley was worth it. Now, we didn't do any of the other movies or presentations, but... We did the tour. I don't know if those would be... We've heard from others. May not be worth the price. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did do the tour, Will. How much did it cost? Zero dollars and zero cents. It was... Free! And it was pretty cool. They said that they couldn't do like the real life tours of the factory anymore because people went like full on Willy Wonka and put the hands in the chocolate. So that's, that's bad for business, bad for product. Yeah, but the virtual tour I think was still pretty cool. Chocolates? Oh, Aw, you guys are awesome. Thank you. What's that? Are you vlogging? Yes. Can we can edit. Sure. Hello, hi YouTube. Good times. And of course we had to purchase something, right? Yeah. <laughs> what did we get? Four chocolate, chocolate bars. bars. What kind did you get? I got mint Kit Kats. Ooh. I got a Reese's candy bar. I've never even seen that, so I'm like, I gotta try it. And I got salted caramel and cookie Hershey bar. I got a Hershey bar with Reese's pieces in it. That's our only souvenir. We're all about the experience, not about the things. But the store is pretty amazing. Like anything you could think of, like Hershey related, was in that store. Pretty it was cool. It's expensive. Yeah, it's expensive, but that's life. I think the trolley tour was about. $17 a person, maybe a couple bucks less for the kids. But if you wanted to, you could just go into the Chocolate World store and then do that little uh, tour ride for free. Mm -hmm. It's like Imagination Station at, at Epcot and Disney World. Yeah, we also didn't go into Hershey Park, which is the theme park, but look like some fun. Roller coasters and other rides. Big drops. Whee! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Mr. Hershey did a really amazing job at just creating, you know, a super big community here. And yeah, like it, it blossomed from his love of confectioner to now making it a theme park and something fun for the kids and the family. And yeah, it's, it's pretty fun, pretty neat. So if you're ever heading through Pennsylvania, you definitely have to stop in Hershey, but uh, you don't have to break the bank to have a good time. I'm Natasha. I'm Bill. I'm Bella. And I'm Will. And we're nursing, nursing our, our travel bag. bag. Hey, honey, give me a kiss. Boop. <laughs> Ow, right in my cheek.